에르만지, Light of Peace to all. Thank you very much for joining today. Uh, my name is TK Nakagaki. I am a freelance Buddhist priest in the New York City. So, how are you doing? I uh, hope your week was good. Yeah, one week is very short. <laughs> so, this is a program to bring the peace, bring the healing to your mind. We always start with uh, some meditation. Type of things. And today I wanted to use the music and meditate. Okay? So we've been doing a different way of calming down our mind. But so it's not just to listen to the, you know, the rock music kind of things, but yet this music you can consider as the music from the,、uh, the Pure Land or kind of Buddha's enlightenment world. Uh, uh, simply, you can, if you're not Buddhist, you can think of it s just from the heaven or something. So, heavenly beings are, are, are playing the, some song. And、uh, so, you hear. So, the, this is a music c o m e from the、um, Enlightenment. And so, so, as you listen to this music, as you hear this music,、uh, you feel grateful, you feel calm. And you feel、uh, peaceful and feel happiness too, you know. So, the、uh, because this sound is really w a k e you up to the truth and reality,、uh, so that's a part of enlightenment too,、right? waking you up. So, hope uh, today uh, we'll begin with that. So, uh, na, uh, so, first of all, I want you to relax your body, keep your back straight, and follow your breath. Okay? Namu Tase Bhagavato Sama Sam Buddhase Namu Tase Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sam Buddhase Namu Tase Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sam Buddhase Buddham Saranam Achami Dhammam Saranam Achami Sangam Saranam Achami Dutiampi Buddham Saranam Gachami Dutiampi Dhammam Saranam Gachami
Dityanti Sangam Sarinam Gachami Tatiyanti Buddham Sarinam Gachami Tatiyanti Dhamman Sarinam Gachami Tatiyanti Sangam Sarinam Gachami Okay, how was uh how was it? I hope you enjoy it. It's a little different music uh sound, right? I, I I don't know whether you can guess what was that instrument. Uh this is called tambu. Tambu. Uh it actually came from Persia. Yeah, like a north of India or to the towards more the Middle East. So this particular sound that I heard a couple of years ago and uh it was pretty nice and so i start asking her to play sometimes my uh uh events it's actually very much fit to the sound of chanting i thought i don't know how you feel so the it matches very nicely especially like uh pali chanting yeah so i thought this might be a very good combination mm mm-hmm. In a way, the music and the revision can be sort of very connected, right? Yeah, so when you have a religious expression, they use the music. And then many times, or like, like in Japan, at least, uh, when the Buddhism came from China, it came, the, came with the music, too, you know. So, so that's why they have certain music together with the religious uh, temples and shrines. And so, which was very common, and sometimes that include also the dance too. It's kind of spiritual dance. Uh, so the way the music comes to your mind, and then the body start moving, and so the spirit is going around, <laughs> right? Um, so the one that you saw, you see, the you know Buddha Amitabha. Actually, you know we just saying Nembutsu, so. I brought the Buddha Amita, uh, so, and then the also in a uh, there are golden one is all the 
you know, different Buddhas or Bodhisattvas or from the pure land, I mean, the land of in- enlightenment. So they are riding on the, what do you call it, uh, the crowd. <laughs> and so it's uh, on the, uh, it, this is up in the air, supposed to be. And so bring in a teaching and then uh, come to welcome people, actually. So that's why we call Laigo, welcoming Buddha. Buddha is welcoming. Um, and then I hope you notice there is the uh, uh, little yeah, circle things that that's like a, the drum, right? And then the bef- before or back of the uh, Buddha, uh, there is uh, people who play in the instruments, right? Yeah, so that's like. Uh, like a guitar look like <laughs> so so the all those instruments people so that's that's actually the band <laughs> right in a way uh but then the uh so whenever they make a sound that create the harmony and then also that create uh what do you call it a peaceful mind and the teaching as well so when people hear the sounds, he make people to take refuge in the Buddha Dharma Sangha, <laughs> like the three treasures. That's what they describe. So basically, the sound of truth. Mm-hmm. And so today's uh, keyword is uh, enjoy the music or enjoy the sound. And so we use the mouth, right, to the, because we have show some chanting before at that time we use a mouse to express so the, you know the chants and then by and then we have a little actually different um tones and uh you know music that we put it in too uh so um uh, you know you know you know in japan there's a long history of uh like gagaku music at um if you heard of it but that's pretty much famous part and then the with a poem that they make they can also chant with a particular uh, rhythm or you know melody and so that create uh, all uh, poem works so like a because Japanese traditional poem like a seven syllable and five syllable seven syllable five syllable so that's that's like a seven five seven five seven five seven five it's like simple with the notes that they use and but then have a lot of poetry there, so so you can add uh, those words. If you make those words, you can sing. <laughs> so that's kind of nice too. And um, maybe I can just do it today by finishing with that particular one. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, part of the how you create the peace within yourself. You know, we use uh, the. Uh, five senses basically for instance we have incense for the nose yeah for the eyes i think those pictures could be the you know we catch from with the eyes and uh like ears so listen to the sound like music or also chanting of the voice chanting and uh right and also the use your mouth which is chanting yourself. So you just participate together with that chanting too. And so you have use your body to show respect. So in a way, you create um, uh, peace uh, through your five senses and six senses, which is the mind. And uh, soon we're going to talk about a little bit about the blind passions and so forth uh, next time. But... Um, you know, how you can create a, uh, what do you call it, a peace and tranquility is not only one part of the things, but in the, all together we try to use entire body or entire uh, organ that we have to create the peace too. So, um, yeah, so music is one of them and so that's why we wanted to share today. And then you want you to experience some of the music. It could be much more, you know, relaxed and calm. So see you next week. Okay. Thank you so much.